I'm a bad mom. I'm disappointed in myself. I tried. I tried. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be continuing on with the Legacy Challenge. Um, we only have about one or two more episodes max when Olive will be a child. So there's still a couple things that I want to get done while she is still in that life stage. I definitely want to try to have a slumber party with some of the friends that she has met in school. And I also want to get her up to an A student. I don't think it's crucial that she's an A student, but you know, we, we should probably do it. We're also still working on the Playtime Captain aspiration, so I would like to get that completed today, hopefully. So with that, remember, if you like the video, give it a like. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. Let's get into it. Right, at the end of the episode, um, she had an energy failure, and it kind of looks like she's going to have another one. So, you know, go to bed. I don't know why sleep is canceled. Is it going to make you get out of bed to pass out on the floor? Let's find out. Yes, it actually, why? And there she goes. Okay, you even left your room to pass out. You you climbed your bunk bed and said no. Okay, and while she's passed out on the floor, she's not feeling the cottage core music. Okay, um, that's kind of unfortunate because I thought you were going to be very cottage core since you are like our nature gen and you're going to be living in Henford on Bagley. Um, but sure. She's also really has to pee and she's really hungry. Olive is not starting off today very well, but um, yeah, sleep well, princess. Um, we'll, we'll see in a little bit. She actually doesn't have school for three days. It's the weekend. What day is it? It's currently Friday. So tomorrow is Saturday and it's New Year's Eve. So we have that. There's the Finchwick Fair, but it's, it's the Cow Fair, but maybe the family will go check that out. And the Festival of Youth is on Sunday. So if we want to have a slumber party, this would be a good day. You know, we don't want to have it on a school day, but it's also New Year's Eve. Well, yeah, you know what? That could be fun. That could be fun. Maybe we'll have a sleepover tomorrow with some of her new friends. And then next Saturday is her birthday. I'm personally very excited for her to become a teen. I am ready to do like high school gameplay. I've only done a little bit of a let's play over on Twitch. So I'm excited to see some of the features there. Let's check in on the fam. Oh, you look rough, Sherry. Okay. Okay. Uh, she's also currently feeling dazed from contemplating life. There's a stinky diaper. Uh, she's having her midlife crisis. You know, everything's great. It's totally fine. Uh, baby is disgusting. And Jason, how are you doing? You really got to pee? Okay, I'll let you have some privacy. But he's feeling good from doing green activities. He's loving the clean air. From a green fiend being on a green street. Is he a green fiend? There's something here. Knock, knock. Who's there? Ruben's first visitor. Ruben finally met another Sim outside of his household. Her friend is still here. St Stefan Volkov is still here. Um, Stefan, you should go home. It's it's almost midnight. Is is your is your dad going to come pick you up? Is it a full moon? Is tonight a full moon? No, it's not. Okay, so your dad's fine. And looks like Diamond is currently just sleeping, so that's good. I do think we need to move Diamond out at some point. I think definitely once Olive becomes a teen, we'll move her out. That way we can give her bedroom to Olive. Because I do want, I want Diamond to get out there and, like, meet some people and maybe have a relationship and all of these things. Um, but I just don't really have time to play as her. Also, she's got some bad compatibility with Stacy. <laughs> okay. But yeah, so the family is uh, having a time. Olive has a loose tooth. She should expect to lose it soon. Wiggling the tooth and brushing her teeth can help speed up the process. Or Olive can bite the bullet and pull the tooth out. <gasps> because they finally fixed that. That's a fixed thing. Also, Diamond is watching cooking shows. I, I kind of think we have to change her aspiration. She's watching cooking shows for ideas. She's currently working to be a bodybuilder. And maybe she's watching for like, you know, health and fitness tips. But I do think she needs to cook. What is your cooking skill at? Four. It's the high. That and fitness are the two highest she has along with dancing. But everyone in this family probably has a high dancing skill. It's just like a flashback though to Sherry. It was like starting the morning with Iron Chef. I'm going to change it. I'm going to have her switch her career and go into the cooking career. Also, girls, what are you doing up? It's, it's 3.40 in the morning. Diamond is going to go ahead and get started as the head dishwasher. Um, she will have to quit her current position. Yes. Yes. There you go. I think this change will be good for you. So for Playtime Captain, we have to ride a bike for four hours. So we're going to have to purchase a bike. 
She also needs to reach motor level six and social level five. So that shouldn't be too hard. And because I think the bike will raise the motor skill, that would make sense. So I'm going to go ahead and get her a bike and have her do a little bit of like cleaning. She's the only one who ever cleans our house. Um, but I want her to have like the responsible trait. Currently has very rough emotional control, but she's she's got decent manners and responsibility and conflict resolution. Olive did take herself back to bed for a nap. She is having a bad time. Sims who are exposed to things they dislike for extended period of times will slowly be driven mad. It must be from the music. And she also has a loose tooth. And so she woke up and she's just uncomfortable because of it. Poor baby. I also saw earlier she had a thing. Yeah, she had a like she was upset because Sherry was around because she's feeling hurt from feeling overshadowed by her sibling. She feels like she's being ignored by Sherry, which is heartbreaking. So maybe Sherry and Olive will have to have a little like day out together to the fair. Maybe we'll just send the two of them um, do a little mother daughter bonding. She doesn't feel that way about Jason. It's only with Sherry. She's getting up to dance. She's really tired still, but she's like, no, I want to dance with my sister, even though I hate this music. Oh, Ruben slept through the night. Good job, buddy. You look disgusting. Look at those little chicken legs. He's so cute. Also, I'm pretty sure it's your birthday. Yeah, it is Ruben's birthday today. <laughs> so he will be becoming a toddler, which um, I did not get him all the way through everything because I don't think he can crawl yet. Um, but that's OK. Oh, right. We have a money tree. Our money tree has grown. It needs to be weeded. Um, Olive, you can come out here and weed the money tree. This might be Sherry's tree, but we'll definitely be taking it with us when we move. Money doesn't grow on trees, but it does grow on this tree. So we have to take extra good care of it. Oh, we can ask it if it's lonely. It is over here away from all of the other plants. It might be a lonely money tree. Got Olive out here doing some chores. She's giving Bean a bath. Ooh, and Fluffy's favorite's still bringing in money. I need to have Sherry write another book. That's something, financially, that would be a good idea. Can she not write a cooking book anymore because she's not in the career? No. Okay, so technically she can't write cookbooks anymore. So it's fine. We're going to write a playful book, but it's still going to be a cookbook. Or it could be a children's book. I could see her being a children's book author. She's, she's going to dip to Ruben's toes in the water? I did not tell her to do this. I was going to have her write the book. Um, but she got, she got bit by him. And now she's going to go dip his toes in the water? That's a thing? <gasps> I didn't know that was an option. I didn't know they could interact with my pond. I guess she can play in the water too, though. Oh. That was really cute. Let's do baby's first food in the high chair. I did not do a baby's first food yet. What do we want to start with? I actually think we're going to go with applesauce because we have an apple tree. Enjoy some homemade applesauce. Why well, you got sad face? It's going to be delicious. Hmm. Ruben was unsure about applesauce. Maybe this food will need to be explored again. Okay. He's, he's certainly drooling and smashing around in it. <laughs> That's disgusting. This is. It's so gross. Is this what having kids is like? Just like slobber and food and everything splashing everywhere. <laughs> and they just smell bad. Oh, and Olive is jealous. Outshined from watching siblings milestone. That was it. Big deal. Olive has been doing that for years. In the midst of a midlife crisis, Sherry has decided robotics is her thing and wants to do it more often. Sherry is just really saying, I just want to try anything. Uh, Sherry, we're not going to do that. I'm actually going to have you write books. We're, we'll just have you do a children's book. You've got kids. You like kids. You're currently obsessed with kids. You would probably want more kids, but we're not going to do that while I'm here. Um, so yeah, write children's books. Olive is currently crying in her sleep. Baby. Baby, no. It's okay. Is it just your tooth? Do you, do you want to pull it out? I mean, I know she's got issues because of, because of Ruben, but like, 
Sweetie. Sweetie, you should wake up. Let's get that tooth out of you. If you're so uncomfortable, we're going to wiggle that loose tooth and and then and then pull it out. We're going to pull out the loose tooth. Did any of you guys pull out your own teeth? Um, my I remember my dad would pull ours if they got too loose. Or you would like bite into an apple and hope that it came out. It was awful. <laughs> she pulled it out. She pulled it out while she was peeing. <laughs> I'll have lost her tooth. She can't wait. She can wait a while for a new tooth to appear or can elect to fix the mixing, missing tooth. Oh, you just be like, I want my tooth back. But congratulations. Is there a tooth fairy? Place the tooth under the pillow and sleep. Let's get this tooth fairy. What is going to happen? It's time to head to bed. If you're lucky, when you wake up, you'll have a nice surprise from the Tooth Fairy waiting for you. We're also cheating this by doing this at 7.30 p.m. I also meant to take her and Sherry out today, and that just, the day flew by. I don't know where the day went. Reuben was having a time. Oh, Reuben unlocked his dance milestone over here. A trade was made, but be not dismayed. Soon you will have an upgrade. I don't know what happened. It, it was the thing. A gift from the Tooth Fairy can take the sting out of a lost tooth. What did we get? A Tooth Fairy certificate. That's adorable. Um, what does this look like? Let me turn on a light. Oops. I was going to look at this. Um, Reuben has aged up and we're not there to see it. Reuben has earned a bonus trait. See all of his bonus traits in the Symology panel. Okay. What did he get? Unhappy infant. Oh no, Rubus ha Ruben had an unfortunate start to life. As a result, expect him to be a little more headstrong and defiant. I'm a bad mom, is what this is telling me. I'm a bad sim mom. Oh no, it's okay. Ruben, what's your trait going to be as a toddler? You're going to be a charmer. Okay. I'm sorry that I didn't complete all of the things. Oh man, they said he was unhappy. Okay, well, you know, <laughs> it happens. This is the Tooth Fairy certificate, though, and it's super cute. And also, we got a Tooth Fairy poster. There we go. Yeah, so we got a we got a free poster. And I think that was it. I don't know that there was anything else. I think the poster is the gift. Um, I would have liked five simoleons, but, you know, that's just me. Oh, he looks cute, though. Ruben looks so cute. You got, you got schmutz on your face, though, buddy. But look at that curly hair. Oh, you're cute. He's a cute toddler. I'm gonna I'm gonna go CC him up. He was somehow born with like bright blue eyes. They they were these ones. They were like turquoise. I don't think I have anything that matches that. Um, but it's also surprising because Sherry and Jason both have brown eyes. So yeah. Also, these chicken pajamas are the cutest thing, considering that he was in a chicken onesie basically the whole time. Um, perfect. And here's his little CC makeover. I did end up keeping the in-game hair because I really like the big curls. Um, and I don't currently have any curly hair for toddlers in custom content. So I'll be on the hunt for that. But for now, he just looks super cute. It is already 11 p.m. I accomplished nothing today. Maybe I even said we would have a thing tonight. We won't be. I'll probably push the sleepover off until um next weekend. And maybe it'll be like, you know, Friday night for her birthday. I am going to have her come out and do some gardening. She can weed these. She can also harvest everything. We're finally able to do quite a bit of gardening. And also I should have her set a resolution. Let's make a resolution to... Become a better student because we do want to get that A. Jason was in bed before midnight. Come on, buddy. You got to make a resolution. I'm trying to get this done before everything happens. Uh, What should yours be? I'll do lose weight for you. I did write a book for Sherry. Um, Diamond, I did get a promotion, I think. Happy New Year. Um, Olive, you kind of missed the countdown to midnight, and that's my bad. She's so angry about it. She discovered information about oversized, ober oversized aubergine, which has been added to the notebook. Okay, why did she just get so mad? Is she, I'm sorry. Okay, she's going through a phase. She's going to pick up any instrument, any chance she gets, uh, yell often and turn all the radios up to 11. But she got so upset. 
just stomped her feet. Girl, if you want to play an instrument, that's fine. New family dynamic is difficult. But they were just like, they were jokesters last episode. When it comes to authority, some younger Sims just do not know how to respect their elders. And it's certainly looking that way between Diamond and Olive. Family members with a difficult family dynamic will be mean to each other more often. The younger Sim will be less likely to follow the rules or demands of the older Sim. And the younger Sim will complain to the older Sim more often. Would you say that Diamond, I don't know that they have a difficult family relationship, but I'm going to say yeah. Because if that's what's happening here, I'm going to see it play out. She's feeling hurt. She feels wronged by Diamond. So I don't... Something happened. Honey. And Sherry, can you come and, like, comfort your child? Is there a way? Please come apologize. Apparently you need to do that. We good? We still beefing? What's happening? Oh, it says you're my favorite. Who... Who is saying you're my, are you saying that to your mom? Is, is Sherry telling her she's her favorite? You shouldn't pick fave. Oh, Olive is telling her. Olive's like, listen, I was upset, but like, don't tell dad. You're my favorite. Hi, Cappy. <laughs> Am I your favorite? Say hi. You look so grumpy on the camera. Yeah. But you wanted to tell me that I'm your favorite. Oh, right. I need to get <laughs> Reuben a bed. Poor kid had a rough childhood, rough infancy, and now I didn't even get him a bed. I'm happy we're having a little bit of, you know, mother-daughter bonding. They're listening to their loud music because she's going through her phase. Oh, and she's asking, when I grow up, I want to be a ninja. What do I need to do now to start getting ready to be a ninja when I'm a grown-up? Start practicing your hiding or get a ninja outfit? Get that ninja outfit. Maybe it's a Halloween costume. I feel like practice your hiding is kind of like, get out of here and leave me alone. <laughs> Everyone had a pretty decent New Year's Eve. I think Jason's wasn't the best. Look at this guy over here. He's so happy in his life. <laughs> I didn't know he was down here and I just turn around. He's just like smiling, watching his family. He's going to go check on Ruben here in a minute so these two can hang out together. Let's share our resolution. Mom, this year I'm going to be better in school. It's going to be a good year. Oh yeah, she should probably do her homework if we're going to be a better student. Let's do your homework and we'll have Sherry help you with it. Ooh, we've got so many plants that are in bloom. Jason, come in here so I can see it. Our little garden areas, look, what is this? It's a parsley and apple. We're growing apples inside on a bush. Um, Go us. Everything's looking real good. All of these could be evolved, so they're all going to be, like, magnificent quality plants. I'm sorry, Vlad. <laughs> For one thing, why are you holding this bowl? And for two, why are you in my house? Are you here? Are you here to finally turn Diamond into a vampire? Is Diamond going to get her wish? Um, can you get out of my house? You just came over to my house to listen to pop music, Vlad. Also, nice earrings. You're you're looking great. I don't know. Do you want to do you want to date Vlad? Diamond, I kind of feel like he's your type. He's technically a young adult. So like that isn't actually that weird he just looks like an it's like father winter father winter is also a young adult when you start the game i swear to god if you find him hot okay <laughs> she does not find vlad hot if she found him very attractive i would have went for it she finds him very unattractive um diamond diamond has some very high standards of who she finds attractive and apparently it's not him does she like anyone who, who does she find attractive? Okay, she thinks Grayson's attractive. He's married and also your parents' friends. What about Isaac? Also thought he was unattractive. Manu, I'm pretty sure you found unattractive, which he is not. It's, it's going to be hard to find someone for Diamond. She also found Joffrey Langrab unattractive, so that's good. I do want to find Diamond like love at some point. Either that or send her off into the world so she can find it herself. Vlad, you should probably like leave. Is it the first day of spring? It's the first day of spring. Spring has sprung. And today is the festival of youth. It starts at 1030. We're going to go. We have two kids. We're going to go to the festival of youth, especially since we'll have our homework done. All she needs to do is eat something and uh, then we'll be good to go. I'm going to have Olive do some fishing and we're going to use our apple as bait because she's reached that level where she can do that now. Oh, and Sherry now wants to do programming. She just keeps changing what she wants to do. We'll do a little bit of fishing and then um, 
head off to the Festival of Youth. I know Ruben is still sleeping, but he should be up soon. Oh, and uh, Stacy, are you are you coming to swim? Are you going for a dip? Did you have your baby? She does now have three children, and uh, I don't think she is pregnant. Nope. So she had her twins. Congratulations. Ooh. Nope. Just big thing of trash. Okay. Ooh, we reached mental level eight. Wow. Hello, Joel. Would you also like to fish near us? Okay. Ooh, we caught a catfish. That's new. It's excellent. Okay, the festival only goes for another five hours, so I am going to have us go ahead and travel um, to the festival. I'll have caught a salmon worth 55 simoleons. And she caught an orange topaz. We just fished out a gem. Amazing. This is where it brought us. Also, you're disgusting. Ruben's being real gross. Poor kid is not having a better time. Uh, but let's give the blessing of youth. Yes, sir. We understand. We have a smelly child. And I'm gonna have I'm gonna have Jason give the blessing of youth to Ruben and have Sherry give it to Olive because I think it would mean more to Olive if she got it from Sherry. There we go. This is the blessing. All right, family. Let's all travel to the actual festival that is over here. We're gonna definitely take a selfie with Yamachan. Let's go take our selfie with Yamachan. Also do the mountain move and what else? Ooh, ask about the void critter hunt. There's a void critter hunt. Ooh, look at that mountain move. Do a little, little dancing is apparently the mountain move. There's no music. It's kind of awkward. <laughs> I didn't know this was a thing. What is this? Join the void critter hunt challenge. Virtual void critters are hidden around the festival. Click on a spot to check if there's one hiding there. Find 10 before the festival ends and you'll see a prize. <gasps> We're going to do that. Are you ready? You got your game face on? Is that your game face? Because I think that that is your game face. And we are going to go and find where they're at. Let's go find it. What can I click on in this festival? There is not a lot of stuff. You can also make friendship bracelets. That's cute. Okay, what am I supposed, what am I supposed to click on? I, I want to find the void critters. Ooh, okay, so check for void critters over here. That's, that's cool. And over here. Is it kind of like Pokemon Go? Because they're saying that they're virtual. Is it kind of like if you were if you were searching around? All right, let's see. Are there any void critters in here? We are not going to get 10 by the end of this if you're moving like that. Oh, yeah, you're like on your phone looking for it. Okay, we didn't have any luck here. Um, What about here? And, and what about over here? Is it just kind of anywhere? Could I have just like checked in random? Yes. Okay. I need this festival to be longer. Come on, girl, find some void critters. We can do this. The festival ends in an hour. Did you not find any again? We didn't have any luck. Where are the void critters? Let's check back over here. We are not finding void critters. I'm going to keep going if it lets me keep going. We're just going to check random places. What about over here by the trash? Didn't have any luck. No, the festival's over. I have zero void critters. I'm disappointed in myself. And I didn't know that this was part of the festival. And now I want to do it but um you know let's at least go get ourselves some food while we're here you want some sushi yeah go get a salmon maki roll you caught a salmon today we can get a salmon okay so different vampire option i'm gonna see if she thinks caleb is attractive oh no <gasps> reuben has a quirk it's destructive Destructive toddlers take pleasure in the chaos they leave behind and are more likely to destroy things. Each toddler has three different quirks. It's because we didn't take good care of him. Now he's a destructive toddler. Also, hates bedtime and destructive. Okay, great. Great. We are paying for it, and I. it's not like I tried. I tried. She finds him basic. All right. Listen, those are the two vampires that I know. Um, and if you're not into them, I guess it was just a, a, a phase. Everyone is so tired. We all, we all just need to go home. We came out to Japan. We didn't do much. We took a selfie with Yamachan, so that's cool. But I do wish, I don't know why it, it's not an actual selfie. It says take a selfie with Yamachan, but you don't get to take an actual picture to like put on your wall. I'm I'm going to have her take one with the um with the statue before we go cuz hopefully that will give me an actual Does it not? No. Okay. 
let's just take a selfie while we happen to be standing in front of this. Okay. And if we turn around, no, we're never going to get Yamachan in this photo. Well, we tried. Um, what other poses do we have? Okay, maybe maybe like this, and we'll do we'll do this. We'll be like, hey, look at I was at this statue, but you can't see the actual statue back here. Taking a selfie with Yamachan statue, almost as cute as the real thing. Yamachan's best side is his left, in case you were wondering. All right, everyone, go home, and everyone is home and off to sleep. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up here. I didn't get quite as much as I wanted to done in this episode, but I think we'll be in a good place coming into the next one where we'll have the school week and be able to get some of those um, milestones for the aspiration. And then at the end of the week, we'll have a birthday party for Olive. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Remember, if you liked the video, give it a like. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.